a short story of Wi-Fi allergy. Anything under the sun including sun can produce allergy. Wi-Fi is not an exception. A Massachusetts family is suing their son's school, alleging that its Wi-Fi is causing him allergic reactions. The school's Wi-Fi is making him sick. In the spring of 2013, the young boy at a prestigious Massachusetts grade school began coming home with headaches, itchy skin, and a rash. The strangest aspect of the boy's symptoms emerged only during school hours. Then slowly disappeared once he got home. The symptoms never showed up during the weekends or holidays. In 2014, they started to get worse. Headaches and itchy skin gave way to nosebleeds, dizziness, heart palpitations, and nausea. His parents commenced research of their own and found. The Fay School, where Boy had been a student since 2009, had installed a stronger wireless internet service in the spring of 2013, the same time he showed symptoms. Linking the two, his mother concluded that Faye's sophisticated Wi-Fi system, was making him sick. He had electromagnetic hypersensitivity. A host of symptoms allegedly caused by exposure to electromagnetic fields. Parents say Faye should switch to Ethernet or find a way to lower emissions in order to accommodate his electromagnetic hypersensitivity, which they argue is a disability. The case is unprecedented, not simply because two parents are suing a school over Wi-Fi, but that the condition at the crux of their case electromagnetic hypersensitivity remains, largely, a mystery. The decision has implications not just for New England schools' internet procedures, but the rest of world too. The Indoor Environmental Quality by the United States Access Board has recognized electromagnetic sensitivities as a disability. If it so severely impair the neurological, respiratory, or other functions of an individual that it substantially limits one or more of the individual's major life activities. Those who claim to have it, exhibit a range of symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, rash, heart palpitations, digestive disturbances, and fatigue all of which they attribute to electromagnetic fields. In a study published in the International Journal of Neuroscience, researchers concluded that electromagnetic hypersensitivity is a novel neurological syndrome. Electromagnetic field hypersensitivity can occur as a bona fide environmentally inducible neurological syndrome. A study from two Indian scientists, mentioned in a book by Norm Alster, titled Captured Agency says, Electromagnetic fields can change neurotransmitter functions, blood-brain barrier, morphology, electrophysiology, cellular metabolism, calcium efflux, and gene and protein expression in certain types of cells even at lower intensities. Another study from European Journal of Oncology. An electrosensitivity expert named Dr. Magda Havas tested the effect of electromagnetic fields on the heart function of 25 individuals. In at least 10 of the subjects, Exposure to EMF caused heart palpitations one of the symptoms of electromagnetic hypersensitivity. Electromagnetic hypersensitivity is an enigma, a condition which is controversial as it is vague. It is not a speculative condition. Thank you very much.